Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Finwin playing on Project Zomboid. I have done a little bit of work off screen. I went ahead and sorted all of the stuff out. So that big cabinet full of medicine and food and all that has been sorted and is now put away. Um, unfortunately, I, I needed to sleep. And so what ended up happening was, uh, I need to put this stuff. I've started a shelf here for gardening stuff and, oh, right, the cabinet over here. So, uh, I wanted to show you guys a few things and then we're going to have to go out at night. We still, I need a bag. I need some kind of a bag that I can wear on my back before I go raiding, uh, the crafting air go for rating for crafting stuff for for hammers and saws and nails there's a warehouse storage facility nearby that i'm going to want to raid but i want to do that during the day however until then one thing you can use is twine rip sheets either one of those a chip stone and tree branches you can get the stone and the tree branches from doing the foraging that i showed previously you can also use this stone here to make a hammer but we only have one tree branch, so I'm going to go ahead and make an axe. Or, well, yeah, I guess I'll make an axe. So I'll make an axe first, and then later on I'll make a hammer. Now, these things don't last very long, and this is apparently very heavy. So we're going to go put this in here in our tool shed, because I don't really need it right now. And we're going to throw our stone in there, too. Uh, I've got some beta blockers. Um, oh. The last thing I wanted to talk about was poisonous berries. There were some white ones I picked up. I've junked them. Don't eat the white berries. So I've got beta blockers on me for fear level, and it's time to head out and go raid some more houses. Is it? Oh, it's day. Oh, nice. I, for some reason, thought it was night. I don't know why. I even looked at the clock and saw it was 9.30 or 9 something. So it's time to head out. Now, one thing we can do to try to cut down on dealing with the zombies is sneak everywhere we go. Ha ha, hello. <coughs> I think I've raided that house over there. Hello. Down you go. I think I've raided that house just nearby because I see dead bodies behind it. Um, one thing I will say that I usually this house here at the end of the street is the house that I use for my base. This house here. Oh, jeez. Why are there so many? You buttheads. I like it for a base. I can't really explain why. I just, I like it. <laughs> but we're not doing that this time. I just went with the first house I got into. But we're going to raid it. And hopefully. Hopefully. No, down. Hopefully, I'm sorry, I'm distracted. Hopefully we'll find a pack in here. I would really like to find a pack. Oh, there's more of them. Bugger. All right, let's head around back. Hopefully we won't find anything back here. I like this for a base because I can forage over in this area down here, but I'm not going to be foraging. Okay, let's see if we can get in this bathroom window here. I'm not gonna be, f I, can, I have a foraging near my other building, so that works. So let's go in here. Let's close the window and first thing, raid the bathroom. I'll take bath towels, but I really need a bag. I'm going to need a bag, so I should probably empty out the house before I go raiding a whole bunch of stuff out of these cabinets. That would be smart anyways. Um, I'm going to go ahead and eat the bowl of stew. Now I just have a bowl, which I'm not going to fill with water because it'll weigh, it'll weigh more. All right, let's see if we got any zombies in here. Yep. Got one. She should have gone down with that splurting sound. Oh, oh. I'm hoping that zombie out there doesn't see me. Let's sneak over here. Close curtains. There we go. Alright, hopefully that will keep us safe for a moment. That's it. Oh, man. All right, let's raid the kitchen. I'm gonna take all this food and I'm over encumbered. All right, let's see. Oh, kitchen knife, I can definitely use that. That's used for a lot of different things. I'll take the pepper, the empty mug and the TV dinner. 
plastic bag, not quite what I need. Oh, and if you hear all the noise in the background, that's my roommate. He's watching TV. And he giggles. It's hilarious. He giggles a lot. All right. So let's head upstairs in hopes we will find a bag. All right. So we've got a bedroom here. Close this door. So yeah, this was, this is where I normally, God, nothing. I'm really hoping for a bag in one of these rooms, but this is where I normally stay. It's got nice storage. It's got a lot of storage. Um, but I'm not going to this time just cause, well, obviously I'm already established somewhere. I'm closing the doors behind me so I don't have to deal with anything sneaking up on me. I'm starting to worry I'm not going to find. That's an empty room. There is a shed out back. That's what I wanted. Yes. Oh, and hey, a pistol. I am happy about that. Score. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is he coming in? He could be in that room there that I shut the door. Okay, there we go. All right, let's wear this on our back. And we're going to throw all this junk into that bag. That'll hopefully save us some room. Let's throw that in that. I don't know why I grabbed that can opener. That might have been on accident. Let's, let's toss all this stuff in here so that we've got a little more space to hold stuff. We got a pistol and I know we got some 9mm ammo. It sounds like a kid zombie. I know there may not be kids. I've never seen a kid zombie, but it just the sound. I know it's obviously a female zombie, but it sounds like a kid zombie. All right. I'm excited. I got stuff. I needed that bag. As you can see, we are over encumbered. The other thing that's really getting us, I'm going to throw this in there. I'm going to throw the bull in there. But the thing that's really getting us is the golf club. So I'm going to throw this extra golf club in there. All right, that should hopefully clear up some space. I'm going to go ahead and throw the food in there too, because really we're not going to be eating in the middle of a fight. Nothing yet. Going to probably be in this room. Nope. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, now they know I'm in here. See? So there is some... Uh, I'm going to select the bag so I loot into, loot into there. There is a shed outside. I'm not going to mess with the shed right now. I am going to get the hell out of here and go back and sort this stuff. So I'm going to leave you guys here for a moment and I'm going to go sort all this junk before I head back to my base. So I will see you guys in a moment. All right. Welcome back, everybody. As you can see, we are raiding... I, I went down and I uh, cleared out all my inventory in my bags and now I'm back up here over by the house to kill some of these zombies and try to get into that shed. Oh, that was nicely done. Do you have an axe or a saw or something? Of course not. You have a fucking wedding ring. What am I going to do with a wedding ring? Here, let me bash your husband's head in too. Oh, I need food. Let's... Eat us some berries. Hello. That was this practice swing there. Right into head. And the husband dies. Eventually. Come on. He's a tough one. Let's see. Do you have anything useful? Of course not. Alright. Let's keep fighting our way through these guys. There's a whole bunch up on that corner up there too. What I'm really going for is a shed, but the chances that that shed is unlocked are slim to none. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I love it when they do that. They go over and bang their head against stuff. Will you guys see me already so that I can kill you? I don't want to swarm both of you to swarm me. Whoa, she's a runner. Oh, get off. I need to get a little bit away here. She's a runner. I hate runners. They annoy me. Because they get up on you before you can do anything about it. Uh. Get
Get her, get her, get her, don't let her up. No, oh, get off. I don't really want her up. Yes, okay. Whew. I think I had another close call there. I'm, I'm good at those close calls, I'm telling you, I have a lot of them. All right, so that takes care of that. Now what I'm praying is that this door's unlocked because I really, really, oh, of course not. Window, don't make me bust you. I really don't want to attract the zombies and I'm going to if I have to bust the window. There are a lot around that corner that I saw. Oh, you bastard. Well, we may have to chance it. Let's see what we got around here. Let's head out to the street. There were some over there previously. There they are. Well, there's also, down the street here, there's that yard I was going to go to. How about I bust this window out, and then I get the hell out of Dodge. And then I can come back and kill them. So I'm going to smash that window. And now I'm going to run. And hope there's, oh, damn. There's a zombie over, oh, there's two. Oh, damn. Let's just hang out here and see. It's nighttime. We may be lucky. I'm just keep it on my back. <laughs> I don't see any coming yet. Maybe I got lucky. I'm gonna go jump in. I could cut myself on this. Fingers crossed I don't. I didn't. Yay! Okay, propane tank. I don't even know if you can use those. Hammer. Nice, I made the axe. Good. Okay. Let's see here. Hammer and twine. This makes me happy. Two hammers, two twine, propane tank that I don't even know what you do with them. Um, I don't know if they're usable or not, but I'm heading out. I think that's enough for today. So I'm going to head back and sort through all that stuff that I gathered. And next time my goal is going to be to hopefully reach the storage facility where all the hopeful tools are. I'd love to start working on the fence around this house over here so that we don't have to worry about things. Just build a big fence around it, which just means cutting down all those trees, tying them together with twine or with a... Uh, ripped up sheets and being done so if you guys have enjoyed please do like comment and subscribe become a finion today and see you guys next time bye everybody